Welcome, friends. It is Clobberstomp. How are you guys doing? Very good. I'm doing great. So, today, as you can see behind me, I've been working a little bit hard. What is that, do you ask? Well, today, we're going to be working on a slime farm. Now, as you can see, I have already corded out. I didn't want to bore you guys with that awesome stuff that took a couple hours and we want to get started so where's all my sand I think I got it over here somewhere there it is sand 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 all right there's all our sand that's all sandstone great so as you can see we've got a big area here now the spawn pad, now I found that there's a spawn chunk here. What? I'll kill you. That was loud. Let's change it down. That was scary. Well, let's turn that way down. Okay, so, um, the spawn pad is 16 by 16. So 16 from that end to 16 from this end. And I believe it's at 240.80 to 24096 to 96 by 256 so 16 each direction pretty awesome now I will put the link below on how I found that out um, what you need is the seed and you can type your seed into this website which is down in the down there and find out where your slime chunks are well there happen to be one right underneath spawn so I figured what better place to build it than here and then what I did was I cored out every other one for sand. Now let's fill this all in because these are going to be filled with cactuses. So let's get this all going. There we go. I hope I have enough sand for this. I didn't really count, but we should be okay. Let's fill this all in, and we're going to get cactuses growing here. Because, mm-hmm, then what we're going to do, and I'm going to leave one right there so we can get back up. Uh, right down here is going to be our collection area, I think. But, right now we're not going to make it look pretty, we're just going to make it work. So right now, as you can see, it can look all the way up from here. It goes all the way up to 40. So I'm at, I think, well, this is bedrock here, so i got to be at like 5. Yep, 5. Excuse me. Now, the reason I didn't use go all the way down to bedrock is because the bedrock is obviously jagged, and we need to put a whole bunch of stuff at this layer right where the sand is, so level here. And we'll show that in a minute. All right, let's get this all filled in. Super speed mode. Bum, 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 bum. So you don't need too much sand for this. And you don't, you're going to need that many cactuses. So it's a little over two stack. Oh, a slime ball. Two stacks. It's, looks like it's about two and a half stacks. So is that 128 plus 32? 150, 160-ish, yeah, 160, bam, 32, you need 160 blocks, so we're going to fill this all in with cactuses, do I have them, nope, I brought some down, and I don't have that many yet, where is it, we got a stack, so, oh, there's a slime, speaking of slimes, let's kill you, so fitting. See, there's a, actually a couple spawn chunks here. So I think what we might do, and I have to talk to the other guys about doing this, but I don't think it's going to be too much of an issue. We might leave these these open here, just so we can come around and smack them. Or we might build another one of these and have them all kind of link up right around here, which I think would be the best case scenario. It should be super cool. All right, we've got our cactuses. What? I hear him. Where is he? 
There you are. How'd you get over here? Oh, you gave me a carrot. That's nice of you. There we go. Alright, so let's fill this in. Now, this part up here, we're going to have to figure out what I want to do. Meh. We'll figure it out later. Slimes will still spawn in this middle part, so I might fill it in. But for now, let's get some cactuses growing. And then we'll get the next part going. Alrighty. Did we get all of the inside done? Oh, we did. Cool. And we'll need one more. But those are all going to grow, which have them all grow, and we should get a bunch more, but that's okay. Now, hmm, we're going to have to core this out over here. I don't know the best way to do this, but we'll leave that here, because that's close to middle-ish. And we can figure that out later, but... Alright, so now what we're going to do is just for the sake of this um, I think I got some chests up here that are empty let me see do we have one empty? yes we do great what we're gonna do is put our double chest down here since I'm up here let's get all of these bad boys because we're gonna need them And we're going to fill this in. We're going to put this guy right here. Now I'm going to I'm going to muck around with this. I'll change this around as I get going, but what we need is a hopper that goes into into that bad boy. Bam. And we're going to put hoppers on top and then each hopper that we do is gonna link right into that so as you can see they link into here and then we're gonna go all the way around here with hoppers and I should probably lay some torches down because we're gonna need them and kill this slimy guy bam Bam, bam. Oh, there's a couple of you guys. Maybe you're a residual from the other one. You got away from me. Excuse me. I had a little bit of a cold, so I apologize for that. So, we've got... This is perfect, because now what we're going to do is we are going to just shift-click each one. And they're all going to follow the path. And we're going to go all the way around. As you can see, it's a little bit tedious. So we might speed this part up for you, but we'll see. Bam, bam, bam. There we go. And you're going to need, I think I calculated four, or about four stacks of hoppers. As you can see, that was about a quarter. I don't know if there's going to be an issue with this space below, but we can always fill that in after. I might have to break them all down and bring them all back up again, but I think we should be okay. There we go. We'll do these two stacks. That should put us right about in the middle. There we go. And let's get this side going. All right. So as you can see, they kind of all link together, and they're all going to make... Whoops, not that guy. Going to make sure they're pointing into another hopper. So they're always going to be pointing 
to the next hopper next to them. So they all reach the front into that awesome chest. And I'll explain the platforms above in a minute. But we gotta get this laid out first. I should have enough. Hopefully my calculations were right. I think they would be. Maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> Alrighty, I think we're almost done. Oh, I hear some slimes. Oh yeah. And we'll get rid of this guy. And then we will go, bam, there we go. So now, perfect, let's take these other five here and go bam, bam, bam. Get those growing, we don't have any growing yet. So now what should happen is if we drop some slime balls into this, they should all end up over here. There they go, look it, it works. Perfect. 16 of them? 16. Bam! So, that's totally awesome. And uh, I think that's pretty much it for down here. Yeah, obviously we have to finish doing each one of these, so I'm going to have to gather some more cactus. I was not fully completed yet, but these are going to grow. Now, as for the platforms, we'll talk about that in a minute, but right now I need to go gather some more of the cactuses and we'll be right back alright peeps we are back and I got some wonderful guys whoa slime blocks are awesome so I got a few cactuses but I figured I would just kinda keep moving along with the process cuz that's what you guys wanna see you wanna see the process right so we'll start back here. Bam, 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 bam. There we go. So now I'll show you guys about the platforms. So the platforms, as you can see, we'll go up to the next level. It's a little bit easier. Easier to see. And down here is crude. We're going to make this look all pretty and better. But right here, you'll, you'll see what we're doing. So I made some jack-o'-lanterns. And what I did is we went up one, uh, here we go, one, two, three, three and a half blocks. And then there's a slab on the fourth block. This is going to give us the most amount of platforms we can because you have to be underneath 40. If you're not under 40, it won't work. Whoa. Dang. Okay, well, that kind of simulates what's going to happen to the slimes. <laughs> um, sorry. Let's get back up there. Wasn't paying attention. All right, so let's get all the way up. And turn around. Oh, I did it again. I'm really not so good with ladders. Shift. There we go. All right, so I've already started a platform. It's four high. And I don't have any slabs. Ugh. Can we make it? What do you think? Can we make it? Let's, let's see. We're going to risk it. We're going to see what happens. I'm going to go for that slime block over there. Oh, man, we're good. Oh, that was so close. I could have died. <laughs> All right, let's make some more jack-o'-lanterns. We're going to need them. Bam. That was a close one. <laughs> Alright, so the platforms are 16 by 16. And I made sure they're well lit with the jack-o'-lanterns. Pretty nice. Pretty sweet. So let's bring this out. And as you can see, I've already started kind of laying them out. Um, bam. 
and we're gonna take our oh I don't we didn't have any dirt will jack o lanterns place on dirt oh no but they'll place on sand sweet all right so what we want to go is one two three jack o lantern and do this on every single spot Wow. Touchy bus touchy mouse button. Oh man. Let's get our shovel here. Oh, and coring this out. Oh, it took forever. So this is actually, I believe oh there's six I tried to do six on each side. So sixteen plus twelve. Twenty eight by twenty eight. Pretty big area. You don't have to do that. Um this is only three by three, but I I did core out the top and I'm going to eventually bring it all down, but I wanted to get the video out for you guys so you guys could see what was going on because I was just sick of coring this thing out because <laughs> that's really takes a lot of time when you don't have any tools to do it. And using a diamond pickaxe with efficiency 4 just still isn't all that efficient. So there we go. And you kind of lay the platform out like this. Oh, snap. There we go. And that's kind of how we go, and you go all the way up to 40. So um, the reason you only go up to 40 is because slimes won't go above 40. They won't uh, spawn above 40 unless unless you're in a, spawn, on a uh, swamp biome, which then you can go between 50 and 70. So we could actually maximize this better if we were in a swamp, but we'll have to talk to... Anthony? I think Anthony is in a, a swamp biome. So that would be pretty good for us to do. We can have him build one over there too. And then we'll have two of them and we won't have to worry about slimes anymore. Which is pretty sweet. Alright, you guys don't need to see me keep filling this in. but So the deal is, as you can see, the, sp the slimes are spawning over there. There's also another spawn chunk over there. But spawn the uh, slimes will spawn on these platforms they'll hop along burr, 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 and jump down and they'll fall and they will fall all the way down like this wah, bah, 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 bah. And they'll fall down to here and they'll get they'll hit and get stuck by the cactuses and then what happens when they get bouncing into the cactuses is the slime blocks or the slimes will break apart and do it again and again and again until they die completely and then they'll fall into the hoppers, which then, in turn, will go all the way back to our chest. Pretty sweet. Now, I can't claim this design as my own. Um, so, there we go. We just got to see it. That's so cool. Let's see if we can get them to bounce into the cactuses. and burp, 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 burp. Yeah, see? Die, die, die. Look at that. Die. Excellent. So now, if we go over there, take a look, we should have some more slime balls in there. Bam, look at that. 17. Excellent. That's what we want. That's the whole purpose. That's exactly how it works. I'm so cool that came, that happened on camera. Now, this will be a little bit more efficient once these are all grown. Come on, buddy. Yeah, come get some. Yeah, this is exactly what's going to happen. Yeah. Oh, you fast. Can you go in here? Yeah, I get stuck by those. See, here's what's going to happen. Boom, boom, boom. We'll get stuck by the cactuses, they'll break apart, they'll go further, they'll fall down. Then they'll fall into the uh, the cactuses and go into the hoppers, and they'll go all the way back to our lovely chest area. Pretty cool, hey? This is a pretty awesome design. Now, what I was saying before is I can't claim this design as my own. I saw, I believe Zuljin did it, and someone can't remember his name I improved it and made it a little bit better um, so thank those guys for coming up oops with this awesome design it works it's great I really like it and I figured well we'll do it here and show you guys how it's done so that's pretty much about it uh, we just need to keep filling in all of these cactuses until we get them full
Let's get these a few here. I'm glad we got those. That was cool that we got to see that. The slimes actually came. They died. They fell into the hoppers. Now, we could make this a little bit more efficient by actually putting a hopper here, too. But I think what happens is the uh, the slimes kind of fall. They There's like a hitbox right here. And they kind of, as you could see, I, I kind of knocked this down into that side. And it fell down into the... But we might have to fill those in. If we do, I can always come back and do it again. It's not a big deal. But there we go. We've got some slimes going. And that's a slime farm. And we just have to wait for the finished product. Which you guys don't need to see. You guys know what it looks like. These will all be all the way up. And it'll look totally awesome. That way if the big slimes come... Dead ski! Alright. Filling it in. Perfect. This was a real pain to core out because there's a ton of lava here. As you, that's why there's obsidian everywhere. Ugh, it was it took forever. This took me hours to core out. Now I'm just gonna continue on filling up platforms up top and to make it as efficient as possible. Eventually we will I will get rid of I know you guys can probably see this stuff up here. I just haven't cored it out yet because you know honestly I'm just lazy. I'm not lazy, I'm just... I was so bored. What? Oh! Well, that was dumb. Nah, that's alright. So, yeah, there we go. That's a slime farm. That's how you guys make it. Pretty easy, not too hard to make. It's very time-consuming to make because of the amount of work that's involved with coring something out uh, because you have to be under 40 blocks. Unless you're in a swamp, then you can be up to 70, which is pretty cool. So I would suggest doing this in a swamp, but the thing is, you have to be within 20, you can't be within 25 blocks, because mobs won't spawn within 25 blocks. So it has to be outside. So you have to be in the vicinity. So I figured this would be the best place for it, because people are always traveling through this area, and slimes will spawn all the time. So as long as you are outside of the 25, slimes will spawn. And if you're within 35, they'll spawn, I think, faster. I don't remember exactly what the rate is, but I haven't done a lot of testing on it. I'll try to find the link and put it in the down there for the stuff and research that I found. Someone had tested this. The, the person that improved this design did a, a, like 30 hours of testing on how to make this as efficient as possible so we went with that so thanks to Zuljin and uh, the wonderful other maker I can't remember your name I am sorry I will put your link in the description for this design and we appreciate your guys's hard work on this and all of your testing that you guys did because you guys are totally boss so thank you and thank you guys for watching oh hey bat BAM so I will continue taking this all the way up the chain until we're at 40 we are at 23 right now so we got a ways to go but that's okay we got a lot of work to do and we got to fill in those ladders let's fill those in real quick so the reason I left this here is because I'm gonna core that all down and there we go pretty cool stuff yeah so yeah it's a little bit less efficient because they can't fall off this side but they can fall off every other side which is cool but it's a work in progress and I thought I'd show you guys this as a really cool thing so as always I appreciate you guys watching thanks for watching as always and don't be afraid to share and like on all of your favorite social media and leave me some comments down below I'd really appreciate it thanks for watching guys Peace.